Today we're going to look at the Post-it Plus app, um, and we're actually going to use a science example. So this is for you science teachers. So we're going to look at the Post-it Plus app, and that app is right here. If you notice, um, so I'm going to open it up. So I've already created some boards, but um, the first thing you're going to do is actually ask you to create a board. So we're going to capture new boards right here and capture new board. Now this works on Post-its, so you can actually use you know, your basic post-its like these guys have a picture and actually does see it. Today we're going to do the idea of giving the students a closed sort with post-its. And so what I did is I actually created a, um, a bunch of vocabulary terms. Move this one out there. Create a bunch of vocabulary terms for DNA. And I'm going to snap me a picture. So I'm going to hold this button over here on the right. Snap a picture. It's going to grab all those. And you notice that it actually took them. For, now, notice these are still white. So all I have to do is actually just touch on it, zoom in, and say, do you want this post it? You can move the corners if you want to. You don't have to. And again, these could be rectangular, scraps of paper, whatever. Uh, and I'm going to grab all these images. So I'm going to do timing, click done, cytosine, scoot that in a little bit, click done, and cytoplasm. Again, you can move the handles, you don't have to. It does make it a little easier, especially for your students. And so just imagine this is a word sort that you have your kids do uh, to remember the different parts of, or to compare and contrast RNA and DNA. So normally in my class, I would have them and they would do it in class, but they couldn't take it home. This way they can take it home. I'm going to use the Post It Plus app. Um, so here's my board. I'm going to click Create Board. Here's all my little Post It notes. Now, the student then can take this home with them, either you created it or they're creating in class, um, and they can do their own sort themselves. So I'm going to go ahead and label my group. So we're going to click rename group. I'm going to call it DNA. And RNA. There you go. All right. We we'll call this DNA RNA. And so what we can do now is we can actually take our DNA we can move it over here, take our RNA and move over here, and then we can start sorting the different cards into the different groups. So this is a great little way to do, um, you can do a resource, uh, uh, compare and contrast, you can do an open sort, you can do a closed sort, and so we can just move these little post-its. Again, these aren't post-its, I just, I just cut them out. Um, I just made, actually I made a PowerPoint presentation um, and then just post it out at nine uh, slides per, per print. And I was able to create this. So we're going to do hydrogen bonds here, thymine, right? Nucleus, nucleus is DNA. You get the point, right? So cytosine. Well, cytosine is kind of in the middle, right? So we're going to do that. This is both RNA and DNA. Single stranded, that would be RNA. Adenine, yep, that's in the middle. Nitrogen bases, oh, that's in the middle. Right, cytoplasm, RNA is found in the cytoplasm, not DNA. Ribosomes, same thing. Blueprint, well, blueprint is in the middle, RNA, right, because DNA is a blueprint, but the messenger is the RNA, and then we actually have two RNA cards. That worked out pretty well. So we're actually, so if you have a card you'll need, you can actually click on it, click the delete button, and notice there's actually a couple options down here. You can delete it, you can rotate it, um, you can adjust the contrast if it's not very clear, um, and then you can also start. Uh, so we're going to delete this, but so if it is rotated, you can actually rotate it, or you can just do it with a pinch. So we'll click delete. You can delete it. Yep, delete that one. And I click the upper right button. Sorry, upper left button. And right there. And then there it is, right there. So the kids can then go back and redo this. Uh, they can, you know, re-study this way. They can actually just then reorganize it whatever they need to do. Um, also on the top right. So notice there is a camera so we can add more. Uh, we can actually add more directly by actually clicking that middle button. And let's say this time we want to um, add something like uh, transfer, right? So like transfer to RNA. So we can add transfer, actually write in as a, as a Sharpie, as a new group, we can bring it over here. Uh, but this time let's say we want to actually type it. You can click on the keyboard down here on the bottom right. And that keyboard will actually let you actually type in the word ribosomal. 
we want to spell it out. And then say add, and it adds it to it. And we can add this to our RNA site. There you are, RNA site. So this is Post It Plus. Um, again, the kids can then take this. Uh, they can even send it to you. So either they can share the board, they can export it. If they do export, they can actually email you uh, as a PDF. I kind of like this option because what you do is when they choose destination, before they do that, let's actually name our board. So we're going to click on board. I'm going to name it. So I'm going to name this my name. Right? So this would be a student's name. And then maybe you could even put like the actual title of the assignment. So DNA and RNA. Let spell that right. D and A and space RNA. And we're going to call this sort. Click done. Again, I'm going to click my send to button, export it. How do you export? Now notice there is a Post-it Plus board export option. Um, that one actually allows you to then send it to your students and they can then adjust it on their own app. Uh, I'm going to do PDF and choose destination. So again, we can email this. We can even save it to our Google Drive and then upload in the classroom. Uh, just like on Book Creator, there might there's a, there'll probably be an, uh, an issue with going right to classroom. So I always just tell my students to put it to Google Drive and then turn it in from Google Drive into classroom. Um, but notice there's a lot of different options in here. You can actually use this um, import into you know, iTunes U, make it into an actual book. Uh, you can email it, like I said before. You can then add it even further as Sketch. Uh, so there's lots of possibilities here for even more cloud uh, app smashing. So once you choose that destination, it'll then like my Google Drive, it'll say where do you want to put it, and I can just click upload, and it's done. So. This was Post-it Plus, and we get back to the actual app itself. Uh, so again, this app right here, Post-it Plus, uh, this was for biology teachers, but again, it could be used for any uh, class for sorts and creating lists, and, but the idea, again, is you're making a digital form of your Post-it notes. Um, so take a look at it, have fun with it, 